And today, my special guest is a special friend, Michael Ketter. Many of you know him from America's Got Talent, and he, he's that golden buzzard winner that we all were cheering for and we're so proud of. First of all, Michael, I love you. I love Ivy. Uh, your six children are special to us, and you mean so much to us, and you guys have become dear friends. But the reason I chose you specifically for this is because of the work that you do at Chalk Hospital with mental health, mental clarity. And your topic is breaking barriers for mental clarity. Breaking yeah. barriers. And so I thought about a barrier. Uh, my thoughts, it's never going to be the same. I'm going to always struggle with this. I'll never get a breakthrough. Pressure. Right now it's the pressure of family and drama and stay at home and then stress. How do I break the barriers and have some <clears throat> mental clarity? It's wild that you said that. And for people that don't know, I, I'm um, currently the interim manager of the mental health unit. It's a pediatric mental health unit. And we take care of kids from the ages of three to 17. So this is a, a unit that we take kids that are in really critical condition when it comes to mental health. But you're talking about breaking through barriers. And you're absolutely right. Um, I think one of the number one barriers that we deal with is the past, like you were saying, the things that have happened to us in the past. And one of the great, incredible resources right now, I don't know if you've ever heard of the ACE study. It's A-C-E, ACE study. It's, it stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. Hmm. And it's Nadine Burke Harris. She is currently um, California's uh, uh, Surgeon General. She was originally a pediatrician and she started realizing that not just the mental uh, things that the, her patients were going through, but even the, the physical illnesses that they were facing had a direct correlation to adverse childhood experiences. Like things of like, you know, the, the obvious ones are like if you were abused or you were neglected. However, she also talks about things like divorce and poverty and all these different types of things that kind of create uh, the way that we respond as adults. But she also gives you things on, on how to break out of that, that. Because we forget sometimes that our brain is an organ. It's an organ in the same way that our heart is. It's, a, it's an organ in the same way that our lungs are. Mm -hmm. And we have multiple ways of taking care of our heart and our lungs we know these things but our brain needs to be taken care of and in just the same way mm -hmm. and unfortunately there comes this whole stigma when our brain when i call it our brain breaks when our brain breaks there's this whole stigma associated with it um and a lot of times we're afraid to reach out for help mm -hmm. people that are depressed we want to talk about does our brain like affect our energy levels absolutely in every sense of the word it affects our energy level